What's going on guys, Fovo here, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks to getting coins in FIFA 17. Now I don't, I know I don't have a lot, haven't played a lot of games, and I'm not very good at FIFA, but I do need coins. Now the better team you have, the easier it is to win games. So I've currently restarted my account and I've been in Div 1 so I find it much easier once you guys have got a good team so if you guys want a good team you guys are gonna need a few things so you're gonna need coins so an easy way to do that is single player seasons if you're not very good online then you can do single player seasons now this is playing against the computer you'll still get coins but you won't get exactly as much coins as you would on online but it doesn't matter for starting out until you get a decent team so you can start going online and battling other people so that's one good way next way is squad builder challenges now there's loads of different challenges you guys can do for coins now a way that you guys could get coins is say they release um, a tweet on Twitter saying that a new challenge that's going to be dropped at 6 p.m. is to get a full Manchester United team and win a game on Ultimate Team online. So you guys are going to need some coins. Well, this is a way that you can do it. So what you want to do is look at the Manchester players. You want to go into the transfer market, go to transfers, open transfer market up, quality, put it as gold, league, Premier League, England, and then you guys want to put the max price around about 750 to a thousand, I'm putting mine as a thousand, and then just put min buy now prices 1250 or 1200 so there's that search and try and get some players that are not going for much such as this guy he's got good pace and there's any of these so I think I'm gonna get this guy cuz he's got good shooting he's a striker so I'm gonna bid for him and then I could see if I get him but I can't right now because I do not have enough coins so you're probably thinking now what's this gonna do with me yeah, I've got a card what do I do with it now now you guys want to wait around about until 6 p.m. when it gets dropped you want to make sure you've done this around about 530 before the new challenge gets dropped of this and then you want to wait till about six o'clock like I said and then you want to put it onto the transfer market for around about two to three to four K something that you can make profit you guys want to make profit on all of your purchases so there's another easy way now if you go into the catalog there are different coins drops that can give you coins they're called foot coin reward boost now there's different ones you can get 200 coins for five games 200 coins for 10 games or 200 coins for 15 games it goes up as you rank yourself up you'll see the level is in the top right corner by it where it says Ginix it just disappeared but it did say my level so as you go up in level you can get more things like this is a decent one a thousand coins for 10 games so altogether you're making 10,000 and plus you'll get the extra ones of well playing the game you might get an extra 400 so you'll be getting 1400 now when you get to level 40 you can get a thousand times 15 so that's 15,000 so that's another one so I'd also suggest getting these little extenders an extra squad slot because when you're getting all the players for the Manchester, like I said, get them around about 5 o'clock to sell at 6. You guys are going to need a few players, a few extra players to put on there. So, there is some good ways. So, I currently don't have a good squad. I'm going to start playing FIFA. I do not play a lot. I'd like to say that, 
I'm not sh really a big fan of FIFA, but I'm not at the same time. I don't, well in a way I do enjoy it, but don't enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys like, 